Charter Public Classical Education Schools got together because there wasn't a classical education professional development opportunity within the state for us. So we uh, collaborated with Eagle Ridge and Nova uh, and later St. Croix Prep to establish a classical education conference that we wanted to be statewide and to be annual. How do you do this? And so we wanted to develop a way to share these resources. So Eagle Ridge Academy hosted the first conference and it's, it's, uh, it's a conference for classical educators where they can network number one, they can uh, share what we're doing, um, and we have expert speakers come throughout the nation. The Classical Education Conference has been a real game changer. As administrators, I know that if I have teachers who are brand new to us, brand new to classical education, that they have a great uh, place where they can go to learn some basic fundamentals of what we're trying to do. At the conference, we learned a lot about how we can take um, history from our core knowledge curriculum and the language piece and um, pieces of literature and how we can take these different ideas and actually put them into our lessons. I would say you know definitely bouncing ideas off of people. The nice thing is is that there's so many different activities and in the meantime you get almost like a passing time like you would at a school right so you get to come in contact with all these different teachers you've never met before and um, getting to know them and seeing you know just asking them about certain sorts of practices that they use in their classroom. The classical education conference is designed to reflect the classical education curriculum scope and sequence so there is a track for K-5 teachers six, eight teachers, and nine, 12 teachers. They can learn what Socratic seminars are, how best to run them. They can learn about the different stages of learning uh, from grammar school to the School of Logic to the School of Rhetoric. Through the conference, I was able to find um, pieces of literature that were suitable for my third grade students. So I could take that text and bring it back to my classroom and be able to do an activity or a Socratic seminar about that about that piece of literature that matched the classical education. The special ed kind of falls into the equity um, and diversity group and I think that that's really important for children to learn. If they feel comfortable with who they are, their culture, their way of learning, and they feel comfortable in the environment they're in, they tend to learn better. They have a huge equity piece built into the conference and I think it's amazing for the students and the staff because everybody feels inclusive, everybody feels that they're comfortable within classical teaching with their own culture and learning. The idea that we're focusing as hard as we are on classical text, on reading text, on writing, building those sorts of skills, that is going to prepare them for college, almost in a way like you would call it a hidden curriculum. Classical education really asks ed educators to try to be um, the, their best educator in these really specific ways. I think what has most pleasantly surprised me about the conference in terms of the design and planning and implementation of it is um, the spirit of collaboration among the schools and the capacity to, to listen to other perspectives and arrive at a place where there's strong consensus and we're excited about what the future holds for uh, the continued growth and success of our conference.